comparing the old and the new TPI high velocity fans. On the left, you see a TPI model U12TE dated June of 1999. On the right is a model F12TE from October of 2016. Being that this is a mounted model, and this is a freestanding model, doing a side-by-side -side running comparison of these two fans would be very difficult. But there are a few key points that I wanted to point out. Starting with the motors. Both totally enclosed. Biggest difference is the 2016 fan uses a permanent split capacitor motor rated for one amp, while the 1999 fan uses a shaded pole motor rated for 1.2 amps. Well, this one actually draws like, I want to say 0.77, something like that. I haven't had a chance to plug this in on the amp meter yet. When I do, I'll publish the uh, the actual current draw in the description of the video. But I believe they're both one tenth or one twelfth horsepower motors. The next point I wanted to point out: the blade sets. So the 1999 fan, I believe this is the last generation of these fans to use the old style frigid carryover blade. If you look on the back, it's the same spider that frigid used on their blade sets. If you look at an old frigid hassock fan or anything with the three blade propeller, look on the back, that is the same spider. This, the 2016 fan, uses just a generic RevCore propeller, and picking this up, I can already tell it's much, much lighter weight. You can see, I'll try and line these two up. The, you can see how much more pitch the frigid carryover blade has compared to the uh, Revcore blade. It's also much, much thicker. Very, very heavy gauge of aluminum. Probably at least twice as thick as this. Let's take a look at the guards. Chrome plated. Silver, metallic silver paint, which is kind of tacky in my opinion, but in an industrial setting, chrome plating really isn't the best. As you can tell, I wasn't quite able to get all the spots, all the rust spots off whenever I was scrubbing this thing. I scrubbed it real good. But, uh, One change I do like, well, besides the emblem, this just sticker on a piece of aluminum. Another thing I find kind of tacky, to be honest, compared to the emblem plate being tack welded onto the guard as it should be. But one change that I really do like is the quick remove guard. Where it, clip, it fastens and clips on like a, uh, like a desk fan guard as compared to that bullshit. 
I will mention that the overall depth of the quote unquote basket of this fan is a lot deeper. You can see the entire motor is inside the basket. Whereas with this one, the back of the motor sticks out. So there you have it. Two TPI high velocity fans made 17 years apart. Stay tuned because I will be posting a demonstration video of this fan once I get it mounted somewhere. There you go.